Hi, I'm Bill with Molly. Most of you know I answer the online tech questions that come in every day. And here's another one that I see just about every week of the year. It's very common and I wanted to share it with you. And it goes like this. I tore my engine down and it's got cleavite bearings in it. It says right on the back. But I need to know what else is, uh, is there to know about that bearing. It's got all these markings on it. It says CB1280 or CB663 or whatever that number is. Well, folks, that's the part number. That part's real simple. So that's the part you would order if you were going to order a replacement bearing. But there's some other stuff on there. The material will be on there. It may say 77 or 112. That's an identifier that it's our famous tri-metal cast copper lead material that we've had for years and years that everybody wants. Also, there's a date code on there. The date code may be something like uh, 7 of 13. That would mean that that bearing was made in our plant in Atlantic, Iowa in July of 2013. Now, a lot of the inquiries I get, they're really old. And the guy will say or gal will say, hey, date code on there is 6 of 92. Well, that means, of course, that the bearing was made in June of 1992. So you know it's been in your engine a long time. We also know that if that car that that bearing came out of is a 1981 vehicle, we know that somebody's worked on the engine already, you know, and replaced those bearings. So we can learn a lot by those numbers on the bearings. Also, the modern bearings that we sell you, of course, will have the size stamped in in the steel. So it'll say 001 or 0.25 mm or something like that. But back in the olden days, back in the 90s and so on, we used to put the size on with ink, and then the ink would wash away in the engine because of the oil. So if you've got one of those old ones, I can't tell you what size it is because there won't be a size marking on it. That means, and you should always do this, by the way, that means you need to measure your crankshaft to figure out what size bearing you need to come back in with. It could be standard, it could be 10 under, but you don't know if you don't measure. Now, there are a couple more markings on these bearings that people are interested in, and they're always sending these in, and sometimes this is all they send, which doesn't help me much, and those numbers are typically a letter and a number like C3 or B2. Well, what that means, it's a way of we identify the lots of bearings in the plant. A, B, and C are the shifts in the plant. Of course, first shift, second shift, third shift. And then one, two, three, maybe even up as high as five. That refers to the big coil of raw bearing material that we make the bearings from. And we can make maybe a 1,000 or so bearings out of a coil. Well, if it's a very popular part, we may use two or three coils up in a production run in that given month. So we'll identify each coil. That is so in the very rare case that we'd ever have a problem, we can zero down not only to the month, but we can use the shift and the coil, and we'll know exactly when that bearing was produced. So that's what it's all about. Thanks for tuning in. Keep sending those questions.